Hello everybody, my name is Baruch. Today, I'm going to be doing a social experiment on the StupidCraft server. I built three houses at varying distances from spawn. 200 blocks, 1000 blocks, and 1500 blocks from spawn. Each day for seven days, I checked in on each house to see if anything had changed. Here is what happened, as well as what I was able to learn from it. I tried to make the houses look more developed and more lived in the further out they were. Before we start, make sure to stick around until the end of the video to hear about a giveaway on StupidCraft. Let's get started. On day one, the first house, 200 blocks out, had clearly been found. When I arrived, I noticed that some items had been taken and the top window had been broken. But somewhat surprisingly, the other two houses were untouched. Building a house 200 blocks from spawn is clearly not a good idea. On the second day, some more items had been taken from the first house, 200 blocks out from spawn, and some other items had been left in the chest. I think I dropped them at spawn earlier that day, so it's funny that they ended up there, most likely just a player getting rid of some junk. As with on the first day, the other two houses remained untouched. On the third and fourth days, nothing happened to any of the three houses. That may have been because of a lack of player activity on the server, but I'm not quite sure. I wasn't able to check the houses on day 5, but sometime during days 5 or 6, all three houses received visitors. At the first house, the door had been blocked from the inside, a hole had been dug in the side of the house, the chest was broken, and several logs from the support of the house had been broken. Some of the cobblestone around the window was gone as well. Moving on to the second house, a large hole had been blown in the wall and the floor of the house. Signs had been left apologizing for the damage and explaining that it had been a creeper. They felt so bad about it, in fact, that they even took some items from the chests. To be fair, I don't really blame them, especially if they were a new player, which it seems like they were. The third house had also suffered some theft. Items had been taken from the chests, including the diamonds. The last day of the experiment was uneventful. All three houses remained unchanged, with no signs of player interaction. So, what can we conclude from this experiment? Well, it's pretty clear that the closer you build to the spawn, the more likely you are to be raided. I think most of us already knew that, but it's still interesting to see it play out in such a concrete way. I think that this can be applied to larger distances as well. For example, anything under around 100,000 blocks from spawn is considered fairly close to spawn by most people. This experiment shows how even on the scale of 1,500 blocks, the bases closer to spawn are rated first and more often. It also shows that there are definitely some honest players out there, as shown by the survey signs left behind after the creeper attack. And now for the giveaway. I'm leaving this shulker box with one netherite ingot and elytra, emerald blocks, gunpowder, as well as a few diamonds right nearby the second house. The coordinates are up on the screen right now. Whoever gets there first gets it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.